Okay, I'm redoing this video because my first one, the video was pretty blurry and I had some mistakes in it. So hopefully I'm a little more prepared this time. This is for setting up a Stream Deck, any one of the versions of the Stream Deck with Thetis software that controls the Anon radios, uh, Hermes radios, and so forth. So basically to start, one of the first things you're going to need is you're going you're gonna to have to download and install Loop MIDI. This is this app right here. Loop MIDI is a is basically a virtual MIDI cable you know that kind of creates a path in a language where the stream deck will communicate with the MIDI function in Thetis and it works well once I figured it out it took me quite a few hours but I was able to figure it out so seeing as how I didn't I seen people using them but I didn't see no instructions on how to make it work I thought I might try it I'm not good at creating these videos but I think I can do it so basically the first thing you want to do like I said is get loop MIDI installed and basically what you have here you can call these whatever you want I just went a B C D E F these are these are sets of of MIDI cables and the reason I have more than one set is at least with the stream deck software you can only have 16 channels per set of cables or else they'll like if you like if you start trying to use the same channel number with different controls they'll just all duplicate each other they'll do the same thing so they basically they conflict so you can only create up to 16 per set of cables that's what I've found all right so once you get once you get a uh, loop MIDI set up just create call like I said call them whatever you want but I'm just calling mine a and B to start with um, if, if you only have one set but right now I've got actually got two sets filled up on my personal stream deck uh, mappings so I'm I created E and F just for a test here just so I can kind of demonstrate how it works but but basically what you would do is you would you would just call it whatever you want say for instance I got EF I do a if I needed another set I would do a G and then just hit plus and it would add it and then the same thing with with F and add it and that's so that's another pair now I've also learned that it's only one way normally this would be like from and to or to and from I can only make it work from the stream deck to Thetis not the other way around in other words if I change a control in Thetis it doesn't change on the stream deck which is all right it's not really a big deal all right so so once you have at least one one set up one uh, cable set now you're gonna have to go over to the stream deck software and right here is my my MIDI plugin if you don't have it already you have to go up to uh, let's see this right here up on top it takes you to the website which I'll drag into view here from the other monitor and then you want to click on plug-in plugins and then up at the top you can just type in MIDI all right and then uh, this this one right here is the one that you want the, the MIDI looks like the MIDI plug if you click on it which I'll do it's going to show open in stream deck that means I already have it and it'll just open up in a stream deck but if you don't already have it I believe this will say get so you just click on it get it and it'll it'll set it up in your in your stream deck software um, and then that's pretty much it there if you want to look if you want to go to uh, uh, let's see here you want to go to click on the gear and then go to plugins you'll see MIDI is installed so so you got that and that'll just show up show up on the, the right right side over here all right so we're gonna do a button first so what I want to do is make sure I have keys highlighted up at top that shows me all my keys this is dials these are the functions for dials knobs 
So what I want here down in the, the MIDI category, I want control change NRPN. So I'm going to drag that to my, my button. And NR, NRPN is a non-industry standard um, numbering where you can kind of use the numbers the way you want. The industry standard is if it was just a uh, RPN, different MIDI devices have numbers assigned to them as an industry standard. But what we're doing here isn't. So we're going to use NRPN, which is stands for non. All right. So that that's the best I can explain it from what I read. I don't I don't, I don't claim to know everything about it. Um, so now we got that drug over to our button, call it what we want. And I think what I'll call it, um, I'll set it up as a mute. So I'm just going to type whatever you want it to show up in the button. That's what you would just type in there. And there's only so much space unless you make the, the, the lettering size, the font size smaller. So I'll just type mute, which is perfect for what I'm doing here. Um, channel. Since this is the first one I'm doing with that set of uh, ENF audio, or uh, I keep saying audio, but MIDI cables, I'll leave it at one. And then under command, you also have to pick NRPN. And now we got to go down here to the MIDI ports and we got to make sure that the correct ones are selected. ENF, which is the ones I'm working with now because my other ones I've, I'm the other two sets I'm using for my uh, mapped, you know, functions that I'm already using. So I'm just, I just made up another set of cables to start blank from scratch so I can show it. All right, then after that, really all you do is go go up to a Thetis setup and you go to, to the uh, serial network uh, MIDI cat tab and then go to the MIDI tab on the second row and then configure MIDI. And that opened up off screen, so I'm gonna have to drag it, drag it into view here. All right, and I gotta click since I'm since uh, ENF is the cable set I'm using. I'm gonna click on E. So you would always just click on either A, the beginning letter of of the audio cables, or the I keep saying audio cable, the uh, MIDI cable set. So either A, C, E. And E is what I'm working with because that's what I have configured in the Stream Deck software. So now it wants me to either push a button or turn a dial or whatever. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna push the the mute button. Um, you don't see my Stream Deck because I don't have another camera pointing at it. I'm I'm but I will be pressing that button on the Stream Deck. And now it wants me to name it here. So I'll just name it mute. All right, and then it wants to know what kind of, uh, is it a button, is it a dial, whatever. So it's a button. Now it wants me to pick the function that I want to assign to it. So right here is mute on and off. Hit done. And then save. Now if we look at the Theta software over here, I, I got mute on so it wasn't making no noise while I was recording here. But... Um, I'm going to hit the button now. It'll you won't hear it cuz I have I don't have that ter audio turned on in in uh, OBS Studio. But you'll see the button unmutes, mutes, unmutes, mutes. All right, so we got that done. So now let's uh, set up a dial here and we'll go to up at the top, we'll go to dials and it'll it'll show the functions that you can assign to a knob or dial whatever so the one we want is generic committee so we'll drag that over oh, drag that over to the dial all right so now um, this will have to be we'll have to set this as channel 2 I believe for it to work properly. Um, I'm gonna make this full. It's only showing a half dial up here, so I like the full view, so I'm gonna pick full. And you can kinda like select the colors of the dial 
here. I like this configuration, black, silver. You can add your own, I guess. Um, and then we'll go from, let's see, call it, call it whatever you want, whatever you want it to show on the, uh, on the dial here, or actually here, and on your, your actual stream deck. So I'm going to, let's do a volume. I'll just type vol so it fits on that knob good and let's see okay vol for volume value display number uh, let's make sure our correct MIDI ports are configured here all right E and F that's what we want all right so now we should be able to just go back over here to the MIDI setup and set uh, click on configure MIDI and again it opened up on the other monitor so I gotta drag it into drag it into view here alright so click on E now I'll I'll turn the knob alright why ain't it uh, there it is I, I'm using a big cursor and it's not selecting I gotta be careful how I select with it. Big cursor, you can see what I'm actually doing, hopefully. All right, so it wants you to, for like a dial, it wants you to go through the whole range of the dial, maximum, minimum. So it will show the minimum value up here, minimum value zero, maximum 127, which is correct. And then now we'll, we'll call it what we want. I'll call it volume. That's just for reference, so you know what you're what you've programmed. And then uh, this is a dial, so I'm going to select dial. What does that say? It says uh, knob or slider. That's the one we want. Now it wants me to pick the correct one, and the one we want is going to be volume for VFO A. Select that, done, and then save. Now if we look over here at the volume and I turn this knob, hopefully it's going to work. And there it goes. It's working, doing what it's supposed to be doing. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you just got to remember to, you got to remember to make the channel unique for each function or else they will conflict with each other. So as you go, no matter whether it's a knob or a button, I believe you gotta make it unique. So the next one will be three, you know, three, say four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, 10, 11, 12, however you wanna do it, you just gotta make sure they're unique or they won't work right. They'll, you, you'll, you'll can, if you configure two dials for two different functions and you have the same channel number, the last one that you programmed will be the function of both of them, and you'll see both dials turn in when you turn one of them. So they, they definitely got to be unique. And I stumbled through that for quite a few hours last night till I figured that out. Um, you can change icons, select the button, and you can you can go to Open Stream Deck uh, Icon Library. And there's actually there's actually three sets of categories of icons so you can look through them and see what you got like for mute I think I used um, uh, not that set is the must have been the last set of them here I used for mute I used this speaker with the slash through it and then if I set one up for monitor which I did um, I used this one here and whatever just what you can make your own you can download different ones create them whatever whatever you like you can change you know like like it reads mute right in the center it might kind of get covered up depending on the coloring of what you know icon that you decide to use so what i'd like to do is i like to move my lettering down to the bottom and then you got to do this is like toggle so you have to do basically do it twice you got to do do both of them all right so now now they're both staying down at the bottom and same thing with the knob you can do the same thing with well the knob no actually i just leave my lettering right in the center of the knob but i guess 
I guess you probably could. No, nope, you can't even do that, so it's no big deal. But you can change the colors of things. Um, you can change the colors of the of the uh, the number the number around the knob. Um, just all kinds of customization. You can figure that on on your own. It isn't too hard. But I'm thinking that's really all there was to it. And um, you know, you can save. You can export your mapping once you get it all done you can save it as you go um in case you screw up you can load that one back up and start from where you left off you know and so forth or even probably even share it i'm not sure if you can share it um how that would work i think you would probably probably wouldn't be able to share it too easily the way this is the way the process you got to set it up share it with somebody else so yeah, I guess that's it. I'll see how this one turns out. Hopefully the video quality is better so you can actually see what I'm doing. And I, the first video I had my mouse cursor turned off so it wasn't even showing. And then I made it also bigger in this video. So, all right. Hopefully that helps. Anybody looking to do what I'm doing here.